Ted and Steven here from Fireboard Labs in Kansas City, and today we have an exciting feature we're going to announce called Fireboard Analyze. So Steven, how does this work? Yeah, that's right, Ted. So we have been you know, asking ourselves a question, when is my cook going to be done? And our customers have been asking that same question. So we're really happy to announce that we've got this new Analyze feature ready to roll out in both iOS and Android apps. Yeah, so down here at the bottom, you can actually see just called Analyze. So we'll go into this, Stephen, and what do we do? Yep, so you're presented with a screen to start your new analysis. So click that button. We'll choose predictive. Okay. And you can name your analysis, choose the channel that you want to use. So Ted's got a pork shoulder on the Primo Outback. Yeah, I started that last night, kind of late, but yep. it was a late night. <laughs> but that's good. So, so as soon as you start that analysis, we kind of use our own method to determine a window of time when your cook will be done. So in this instance, it's showing between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. That's pretty slick. So yeah, you could actually see as this cook progresses, and it shows you when we started, so it actually shows you the history here on the screen, and it kind of has a little line for when it is now, and like the projected looks like a dotted line. Yep. That's pretty slick. So in this case, it looks like we're kind of on pace for pretty close to about dinner. If we were trending slower, so let's say this is trending like at eight o'clock, we could actually bump up the temperature and then that way you could actually start to accelerate. You could kind of see this prediction actually start right. changing, right? Yeah, so it's a great thing if you've got you know guests coming over at seven and you see that, hey, my time is between six and eight. Well, you can keep an eye on this tool and maybe bump up your set point or even bump it down if you need to and just you know, hit that target that you're looking for. Yep, so I've got my target temp at 204. It's showing, yeah, 3 to 4 p.m. Now what, Stephen, what do I do if I click up here? You can go just a linear. Yep, so another question we've had is, you know, people I think will enjoy the predictive aspect of it, but some, some folks want to know just like a straight line extrapolation. So by clicking that button in the upper right, you'll be able to see basically a straight line extending out from the last temperature at the same slope that it's going. So it kind of gives you maybe a little different way to look at it if you're doing something hot and fast that moves a little more linear, like a steak or chicken, you can use it for that. Yeah, that's pretty slick. So you can actually drag here with your finger and this is sort of the range that it's using to extrapolate from, right? 